quick little update for you guys on both our Silver Apple Yard duck project and our red Dorkings. So the Silver Apple Yards are full grown. We Out of the group, we've got three hens and five drakes. Now my original plan was to keep two hens and one drake, but I asked advice of more experienced duck owners and they told me you need to keep at least three hens if your goal is to keep two and something happens to one and you're only left with one well your one drake is going to wear that one hen out so keep three of them well luckily i've got three of those three light colored head ones right there and then the ones with the darker colored heads those are my drakes and the experienced duck owners also told me with those that i should keep two of those what happens if a fox grabs your drake and you're down to no drakes and you have nobody to breed your hens. So, um, of these eight ducks, we are gonna go ahead and keep five, two drakes, three hens. When it gets to be springtime and we, we need to narrow it down to just one drake, we'll pick our favorite one and we'll, we'll eat the other. Those are our silver apple yard ducks. Let's go look at the red dorkings. I love dorkings. All right, a little update on the dorkings here. Here's my white phoenix. Her name is Topaz. She's a daughter of Opal. Opal's coming over here to check us out while we're talking about her, her foster grandchildren. All right, as you can see there, there are three chicks. She sat on 10 eggs, hatched four of them. One of them didn't. And as you can see, she's got three chicks in here with her. One of the neat things about red dorkings is they're auto sexing. If you look real close, you can see two of them have a real distinct stripe on their head. And this other one, he's kind of fuzzy looking. Well, the, the one that's got a more fuzzy look is the rooster. The ones with the more distinct bar on their head, real angular, Th those ones are the pullets. I'm gonna cover her back up. She's not enjoying this very much. Got Grandma Opal over here after checking out the little Dorkins. So we've got one little rooster. We've named him Augustus. Augustus is the very first Roman emperor. And since the Dorkins have a, a Roman heritage, they were brought to England by the Romans. Um, we just figured, hey, we'll just pick the very first Roman emperor since he'll be our very first Dorkin rooster. Hopefully he's gonna be the, the new uh, king daddy of the chickens here on the homestead. Um, we were hoping for at least one rooster out of the group. Um, I know the breeder that we got the eggs from, she told us that uh, her, her, her eggs tend to throw more pullets than roosters. So we're glad out of the three chicks that we have, at least one is a rooster. We got two uh, pullets, so hopefully that'll be a nice little foundational stock for us. We'll probably add some more next year as well. Um, but we're just excited to have a, a rooster that we can breed to the hens that we already have that will throw chicks uh, that will be big enough to eat because as much as we like these little white phoenixes, about all they're good for is sitting on eggs. And being nice to people. And being nice to people. So this is Modern Mountain Man and Chickadees saying, God bless you. And go take your mountain. Those are the ducks. Let's go look at the door king. <laughs> <laughs>